Oaks White, thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. My partner Avery Davidson is on a very tough assignment this week of seeing how king cakes are made and probably eating a whole lot of them. From Shreveport to the Big Easy, Mardi Gras is big business for Louisiana. In Caddo Parish, Carnival injects about $16 million a year into the local economy. In New Orleans, that's closer to half a billion dollars. That's according to two university studies of the celebration. As Avery shows us, Mardi Gras meets agriculture every year when we enjoy a well-made king cake. Outside of Manny Randazzo king cakes in Metairie, folks are not doing the second line for Mardi Gras. They're part of the daily line. One after another, someone goes in empty-handed and walks out encumbered and happy. So I got the pecan pralines. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy enough for people to start lining up at 5.30 in the morning, a half hour before this sign lights up. Can I get for you? Uh, regular, small, regular, large, and a medium cream cheese. Inside, king cakes move from racks to the counter, and cash goes from hands to the register. For attorney Henrik Pontopoden, this king cake is worth the wait. Well, I just think it's the best tasting king cake out there. So what makes Pontopoden like this king cake best? The way they bake it, the mixture of the dough, and you know, the way they put it together and construct it. And I'm more of a traditionalist. I, I don't particularly care for a filled king cake. My family does, and they love the filled king cakes. I like its traditional king cakes. So I'll end up buying two small of each, uh, and uh, Everybody will be happy. Behind this door is where Manny Randazzo bakes it, mixes the dough, and constructs the perfect king cake. But we can't show you something about top secret operations and sleeping with the fishes. Here at Manny Randazzo King Cakes, it is, uh, it's, you know, it is a secret uh, recipe that we do use. And uh, we do adhere to it uh, strictly, uh, you know, because the recipe came from my dad and my uncles and my grandfather. They started this business back in 1965. And so uh, I was five years old growing up in the business. And uh, my dad, you know, taught me, you know, everything there is to know about the king cake business. And I, my dad was a perfectionist. I'm not a perfectionist, but uh, I'm really consistent with exactly what he taught me. Rendazzo knows to be consistent with quality. He needs quality ingredients. That's why he's very particular about the sugar he uses. I can tell you uh, from firsthand knowledge, uh, the sugar that we get, you know, the, from Domino sugar that uh, comes from our sugar cane, you know, uh, plantations over here in South Louisiana, by far is the best sugar. We've gotten sugar from other countries um, and, and brought in and tried, and you know, even though it was a, a cheaper product, it was totally inferior to, and we won't use anything except, you know, good old sugar cane sugar. While Randazzo likes to keep the ingredients local, he loves to share the final product with everyone. The uh, tradition that excites me in that uh, you, you can see, you know, we have some lines of people here and, and they're excited about, you know, getting the king cake. We're excited about serving them the king cake, you know, that type thing. And so it's that, uh, and then a lot of it goes out of town. So we get to express what our tradition is to the rest of the country. I tasted it once last year. Yeah, yeah, in January, and I loved it. And I came this weekend. I said if we had to stop before we left town. Farah Hayes and her friend Vanessa Brandt are from Dallas, Texas. They each bought a king cake to take home. It has to survive the drive. The drive. Which yes. it may not. It may not survive the whole way. <laughs> We're hoping it does, but it may not. What survives the entire year is the way these people make Randazzo feel. It's the best feeling in the world, you know, because it. You have something that uh, people really enjoy and is, is uh, successful in doing it, and so, you know, it drives all of us. And that drive keeps people driving here every Mardi Gras season. In Metairie, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. 
As you could tell, Manny Randazzo is very tight-lipped about his family's secret recipe. If you would like to taste why, you can order a king cake from Manny Randazzo's by visiting our website, twilighttv.org. However, I must tell you that with the demand as high as they are right now, if you order online, your king cake will not ship until after Mardi Gras. And I can tell you, though, after tasting a Randazzo's king cake, it doesn't matter when you get it, as long as you get it, they are literally that good. My neighbor brought me one for Christmas in the shape of a candy cane. It is excellent.